I'm at Kroger, Shane. I want to bring one home. Let's talk crochet, guys. This is the last shawl that you saw me working on. This is complete now. It is huge. I have, and it's very, very warm and thick. I have not officially modeled this yet for you because it's not completely done yet. I have one more little thing that I want to finish with it, and then you'll get the full-on model, maybe some dancing with that. So since this one is, you know, as complete as I can do for right now, I have two yarns here to choose from to work on my next project. So these are the two um, rolls of yarn that I had picked up um, while browsing around with Lana at Joann's. So I have more than enough for, a, you know, a shawl of each, really. My big decision now is which one do I want to work with first. And I really, really like this color, and I really want to see how it turns out, how all the, how it blends when it's into a pattern. But um, this one is, it feels like it would be a lighter weight shawl, which is what I would rather have right now and work on a warmer one towards uh, the end of the year. Even though know, I did say that before when I was working on the denim colored one there. I wanted to wait till the end of the year, and hey, I still did it now, didn't I? Anyway, so I'm looking to do a triangular shawl. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and trying to figure out what I want to do. And um, I think I found one. It looks absolutely beautiful. I will put the link in the description for you guys in case it's something, you know, that you want to try as well. But uh, I, think this is, I think this is my decision here. I think I'm going to go with blue. So I'm going to go and get started. So here we go. This is a progress set I've made today, guys. So um, look how pretty it's turning out. This is the back side here. This is the back side, um, which is very pretty, right? This is done with shells. These are all just shells of seven treble crochets. This is the front side. Look at how pretty this side is. Um, what we're doing with this particular pattern is you're coming in with double crochets and you are double you are um, crocheting them through the front post instead of the top loop and when you put them through the post instead of just the top loop the post being um, the whole post one of these versus the top loop which is the two little loops right here it creates this ridge this kind of piping and so that I, I'm really excited to see how this turns out. Something else I'm really excited about is I'm not a light blue person. I like teals and dark blues. So I'm really happy to see the color gradient of this changing over to some of the darker shades now. So I'm, I'm really pleased with the way it's turning out.
Jack. Come here, sweetie pie. Ha, 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 ha. 